he was considered the ugliest of the litter, so he was being sold for $25. My name is Sabrina, and this is Milo's story for GeoBeats. Is that good, sir? Milo came into a life when I was looking for a Craigslist furniture and happened to find that ad. I feel so bad because he was so tiny. Good boy. He was two hours away from our home. I said to my husband, can we go get him? We asked the person why he was being sold. And she told us that he was considered the ugliest of the litter. So she needed to get rid of him to bring in a new litter. Milo mode. Ah, yeah. As soon as we got him, God touched to me. And until this day, he follows me everywhere. I love you. He's that boy. As I was learning how to take care of him, I started volunteering at a bunny rescue close by. Oh my god. I learned that bunnies need to be in pairs and they thrive in pairs. You comfy bun. You have a potato. They do bunny speed dating. Well, they put two bunnies together and let's see how they interact to see if they will be a good match. They call it the bunny moon. We tried a couple of matches and they weren't working really well. And then we saw this little girl. <laughs> Most likely she was dumb upside. You guys are so cute. It was love at first sight. The perfect match. He ended up getting Luna from the rescue. Their bond is amazing. They were free rooming two weeks in the bond and that's very, very rare. Milo is definitely more lazy than her. She's more energetic, but they're usually always together. She is a troublemaker by nature. She loves to get pets. Good girl. She will cuddle with you. She's the most cuddler, but she's very, very sassy. She's not a social bunny. No. Milo's definitely a social bunny. When family comes over, Milo will go and meet them and smell them and she will stay behind. When we go to sleep, they snuggle in my side of the bed. That's their spot. So I have to sleep diagonally. I'm very thankful that she makes Milo very happy. And I'm very thankful that she came into our lives. 